Coming out there, YouTube, this is SEO 0320 representing JVS. Something came to my memory uh, that I had heard about. I definitely want to do a reaction for it. This is going to be my reaction for Destiny, believe it or not. I actually still love the game. I just don't play any games <laughs> anymore. That's why y'all haven't been seeing me doing any live streams on Twitch. Um, I even got Uncharted. This is an unbox I have still even shown y'all. But anyway, uh, <laughs> Destiny has a new expansion. It's going to have a raid. It's going to have like new missions and new weapons. And the name of this is going to be Rise of Iron. And I think this is the Iron Banner uh, guy, which we've never seen his face or anything like that. We don't know his backstory. We just know he's got that cool cloak around him with wool. Um, so we'll see where that goes. I'm going to go ahead and react to that trailer right now. Official trailer. We thought we were indestructible. Dude. The Lords of Iron. Ooh, he's your brother! We swore we <laughs> would do anything to protect. Oh, snap. Some of us paid the ultimate price. I am all that remains. What the heck are those? Yo. We thought we had sealed away the plague for eternity. Must be the new raid. Now, it has returned. And oh. this time, with a fallen army. It is time to avenge my brothers and sisters. Stand with me, Guardian. Yo, this cat got a prove yourself yes. worthy. And the Iron Lords will rise again. Let's go. Destiny, Rise of Iron, and get the Iron Gallarhorn. They bring, holy crap. Yo, they bringing the Gallarhorn back. Okay, all right. I don't know who this new enemy is. They actually pre look pretty dope, but I know this is the Fallen, but I'm trying to figure out who's the person that's commanding them. Um, to finally see, like, the Iron Patron or the Iron Guy, like, unveiled as a brother. <laughs> um... I mean, visually, it's, it's weird. I just finished looking at um, Injustice 2 and, like, comparing, like, the graphics in general, like, I mean, this just looks amazing. I mean, it is a cinematic, but in general, Destiny is a good game. The problem with it was that people got too bored of it over time, but it's progressively still adding things. I think that from a person that started off really in the beginning, you know what I'm saying, I remember having to grind. Like, I remember having to, like, man and and uh, mine for different things all the time like for the simplest of things to be able to get this simple kind of like armor or weaponry whereas now people that are playing the game they just get, they can just buy it you know what I'm saying so it's like I'm a, a OG in that extent because like people just don't understand like what was at stake to get the things they hit and it's like I understand it because to keep people interested they have to be able to get it quicker you know and even now like I haven't played the game in a while I think I was like a 280 or something like that and I think now it's extended out to like 345 like as far as light level is concerned so I mean they have to keep upping it maybe the light level will go up to 400 for all I know I mean I'm excited the sense that they've not just come out with a, a part two I'm glad that they continue to refine it but it's like when it first started off it's kind of like this World of Warcraft mix shift with Halo essentially and now it's kind of progressed it's just i think that people's attention span is so short they should have replanned out how quickly they can get this thing out but since it's got a raid new strikes i might be back up in it heck that freaking axe i saw somebody wielding that does that mean that the guy is going to be with us during the raid in certain sections which they've never really done that actually having like a real person we've talked with them but we've never had somebody actually come in i think that that'd be a great addition to it or even if we can actually get and wield the axe with his wolves shoot i don't care but either way, I'm excited for this. I think I might be more excited for this than the uh, Injustice trailer that I just saw. 
because uh, I guess I was a real uh, Destiny fan, and I still am. It's just the price that this is gonna cost. At this point, I've, I've paid for each one of these expansions, and like the last time, they said that with the Taken King, you can get expansion with all the rest for the price of the game. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. For me being an OG player, if you can look it up, am I gonna get this for free? Am I gonna get this for five dollars or am I gonna have to pay like 20 or 30 bucks? And that's that's real tall, that's the real issue. You know what I'm saying? With World of Warcraft, you buy it and then you buy the expansions progressively, but you're not gonna pay an arm and leg. It's gonna be one set price for each time. So I don't I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this reaction for Destiny, Rise of Iron Trailer. Keep it locked. JVS we ain't gonna stop. Like literally. <laughs> Peace.